The single most important reason that direct democracy is better than representative democracy is that the people will have the power. This is the first video in a series of videos about why direct democracy is better than representative democracy. If you're new to the idea of direct democracy, there are links to my other videos in the description. You might be thinking that the people do in fact have power in a representative democracy, because they vote for a politician to represent them in government. That's technically true, so the question's not about whether you have any power. The question is, how much power do you have, and is it enough? When you elect somebody to represent you in government, you only have power on election day. If the next election is in four years, then you have power on one day, then you have no power at all for four years. If there's a new law or policy that needs to be voted on by the government every week for four years, then there'll be approximately 200 issues that will need to be voted on by politicians, and you have absolutely no control over the result. So why do we want the power? Two reasons. Freedom and control over your own destiny. Politicians cannot be trusted. Let's talk about the freedom and control over your own destiny. This comes from the psychological concept of self-determination. In psychology, self-determination is a concept that relates to your ability to make choices and control your own life. This ability plays an important role in psychological health and well-being. It also allows you to feel like you have control over your choices and your life. It also has an impact on motivation. People feel more motivated to take action when they believe that their action can affect the outcome. So the summary is that the less self-determination we have, the more oppressed we feel. Now having the power doesn't mean that we're going to get everything that we want, because regardless of whether you use representative democracy or direct democracy, the majority will rule. If you live in a community, you cannot have 100% self-determination because you live with other humans and it's impossible for you to agree on everything. So you have to agree to some restrictions in order to be able to live together in harmony. But direct democracy is the solution that provides the least amount of restrictions and the restrictions that do exist will be uniquely customized for that specific community. In the meantime, we can accept the fact that our fellow citizens have a different view. But it's very difficult for us to accept the government shutting down our ideas. So direct democracy doesn't provide 100% self-determination because that's impossible. But it does bring us much closer to self-determination than representative democracy. Now let's talk about trusting politicians. When you elect a politician in a representative democracy, you're making a decision to trust them. And there are two important points to make about this. One, you have no reason to trust them. Why? Because they're incentivized to do one thing and one thing only and that's to get elected or re-elected. In almost every democracy, getting elected or re-elected requires money, and the people that provide the money don't do it in return for nothing. So politicians cannot be trusted because they often put the interests of their donors ahead of the interests of the people. Two, the stakes are so high that we shouldn't be relying on trust. When we elect politicians, we give them the authority to control billions of dollars of taxpayer money and the policies that control our day-to-day -day lives. You never see this kind of trust in business. Everything requires a contract. When we buy a phone, we enter into a contract that outlines every little detail about what each party is expected to do. When we elect a politician in a representative democracy, we don't enter into any contracts with them. We just trust them to do what they said they would do and hope that they do it. The entire premise of representative democracy is that it's based on trust. Again, the stakes are so high that we shouldn't be relying on trust. This is all extremely outdated and unprofessional, and unnecessary in 2022. The whole point of democracy is to give the power to the people. Representative democracy was invented because direct democracy was impractical at the time, meaning that it was a temporary, substandard, band-aid solution. We don't need the band-aid anymore. The reasons that made direct democracy impractical have been solved. Of course, existing politicians in a representative democracy will oppose all of this because they want to keep the power. The reality is that we've reached a point in time where representative democracy no longer serves the will of the people, and technology can solve the problems that made direct democracy impractical. That's why I created One Direct Democracy. It's a movement for upgrading the global democratic system by taking the power away from politicians and putting it in the hands of the people by using direct democracy. I've created the technology and a plan for how to make it work. If you're new to all of this, check out the links to my other videos in the description. Direct democracy is the purest form of democracy. Representative democracy is an outdated, blunt instrument.